we are going to look at one comment on one video. Not even the top comment, just the most recent comment. Then we're going to look at how much content Allie has on her channel about me and her lies in the very comment. So here is the comment we are referring to or I'm talking about today. And it is on this video. Mean Girls Exposed, Jubilee Exposes, Docs the Podcast, right? I've sorted this by newest first. Hmm. She appears unwell to me, especially at the beginning with the scary, forced smile close up. That's both ableist against autism, because that's my autism he's referring to. But the camera choice, the zooming in, is an editing choice. Ellie made the exact opposite editing choice in her previous video that she put that exact same one in and we're going to watch it all. But Allie says she is very unwell and still streams the lives that I do on TikTok. It's so scary and I wish YouTube would do something about it, but at least no one listens to her. She streamed me for eight hours just the other day. I was streaming for eight hours or close to eight hours because, and we're going to look into it, right? Again, we're looking at one comment, but I'm just going to pause and get to her channel. First of all, here are her lives where she's gone on YouTube, plus the Instagram ones, plus the TikTok ones, right? She's live talking to the camera for five hours here. Um, and these are all about me and my friends, right? Uh, now, when we go over to videos, where my friends come in, is uh, New Age Spirituality Exposed, right? This one's supposed to be all about Jane. Um, and then I'm in this one. In fact, now that we're here, let's just watch that now because it's going to be the same one. And we'll listen to what she says right beforehand too about her own, what social media is doing to her own body. This is going to be the last round because I think this needs to end and I am literally so exhausted. <laughs> And I just feel like I'm having casual symptoms of a heart attack all the time. And I am mentally just at a breaking point and I need to step back from the internet for a little bit. And this is January 21st, the video that she's putting up with me in it, that she's behind me with the cop one, right? The video this one put up uh, was later it, in still January though, right? But what you don't do, she's making everyone responsible for her physical sensations and she's saying she's going to take a break. She's going to de-escalate while escalating, right? Again, this video is from January. And kind of recoup and get my nervous system back, calm down. And all of this has just been so unbelievably intense. And I cannot thank you enough for everyone that has supported me. And but this wig is for you, Barry Ann, and for all the people who have just been unbelievably horrible and disgusting the last few days. So this is a duet. I always say the wrong one. Um, right? Look at, I am zoomed in, right? That's kind of a, a weird camera angle. I'm not a social media person, which is exactly what I am saying when you think I'm here for views, when you think I'm here for anything besides justice and to create a better world, you all get yourselves hurt. I said it then, I'll say it now. Now I say it in a weird way and I add God, right? Absolutely red flags. But she's making fun of me in a cop uniform while saying she's scared of me and I'm in spiritual psychosis. And then she's zoomed in because we're going to watch the one right after that that person's referring to on her two hours of content, right? And then how much other content after this video she's made on me and my friends. My videos? The people I'm co-creating a better world with? Who should I be staying away with? They're on my videos. You're sending your followers other places. This isn't going to go how you think it's going to go. I'm immune to social media drama. I have God on my side. I'm not here for clout. I'm not here for followers. I'm here to do God's work. Everything you do is just helping me in that. So keep at it, Allie. You do you. And
So that was me put in a video with her mocking me, right? Saying I'm in spiritual psychosis. And now I'm so scary. She has to make all this content, right? We already saw the lives. We just saw this one. This is the one we saw the comments on that we're going to watch momentarily. Uh, I, I don't know if I come into this one. This is definitely even has my name. This one is about me. Bullied off a of TikTok. Absolutely about me and my friends. Even these two that are supposed to be not about us. Absolutely mention us. Uh, this one's the one with me in it, and this is the one uh, that brought me into it, or at least showcases the thing that brought me into it on my birthday that she's going to horribly showcase at the very beginning of the video that we are going to watch. The very beginning of going to watch about the first 30 seconds or minute, but before they show the zoomed in portion that that person was referring to, the part that I say is in direct response to Allie keeps saying that I'm saying she's my she. Ali Priestley is my birthday present sent by God, right? No, 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 that's not what I said. Your horrible behavior, I will be keeping an eye on because I was assigned you by the creator, right? Again, I'm not that hard to make look crazy. I'm looking to be a red flag, which should be a green flag. Ali is a little pretending autistic green flag who is the giant red flag who started a cult who commits narcissistic abuse daily and somehow has a bunch of people roped into being her flying monkeys on her behalf against autistic people. That forced smile, those creepy people. Here's, I lied. Here's me, right? Here's me. Here's Ali's video of me. I was assigned Alison Priestley by the creator. Her antics, her havoc. This isn't going to go how you think it's going to go. I'm immune to social media drama. I have God on my side. I'm not here for clout. I'm not here for followers. I'm here to do God's work. Everything you do is just helping me in that. So keep at it, Allie. You do you. I will be calling that person's work group later today because if it's not you, that will not hurt them in any way, shape, or form because they're not acting a fool on TikTok. But if it is you who is on that LinkedIn and now you're saying that's not you, that's really not going to look good for you. And then your employment will be notified because they will, you know what I mean? They're probably going to want my YouTube videos and stuff. So, um, yeah. I'll be clearing that up. That was a fun little bonus at the end there. So also, right, she's, I'm terrifying and creepy. Again, sending her audience after actually autistic people for their autistic traits, calling it stalking and harassing because I make YouTube content, right? She's allowed to do it. Nobody else is. That is narcissistic abuse that she is, is doing in full view, doing Darvo, future faking, love bombing, all of these things. There is a therapist who came in with her full name on YouTube here, right? Her full account. I've already shown it as a background. I could keep doing that. But Emily Campany is a therapist who thinks Allie is being victimized instead of she's being the biggest narcissist. I still stand by a therapist who's online presenting themselves as a therapist. I would never want to go to this therapist, especially for narcissistic abuse because she misunderstands it anyone who's coming to see her is the one narcissistically abused so uh yeah there was one of my love that that was just in here at, at the end so uh now we're gonna go to my channel for um to see what that what was that eight hours that day so before we go to that i want to showcase my videos that i've uploaded of which this will be the next one a self-hating influencer is dangerous uh, Caitlin, why do autistic people disgust and annoy you while raising one? Uh, how and why? How did Ali Priestley start a cult? Why did she? Because she's jealous of the autistic creator. She showcases that very clearly. Why are story time and call out accounts a toxic combination? Not Ali's fault. This is a toxic combination. Is her fault she refuses to do any better than being this toxic self-hating influencer that is dangerous? Uh, does this sound like Jubilee trying to silence Ali Priestley, just one minute of me giving her a new platform, right? Me saying, hey, how about you go do this one instead? Um, me showcasing 
how did Pre uh, Ali Priestley get Katie to send her followers somewhere dangerous? The difference between Katie in April, I believe, or May, and Katie in August, and her misremembering from before what she did and what how involved she was. Then, who is the TikTok stalker? I need to warn other creators about Ali's, of course, reminding people about Samara, who I think is probably dangerous and a covert narcissist, but not out here with 500,000 followers, just has millions of dollars. They're dangerous in a different way. Um, how does this dangerous account prove my points? Uh, the reluctant Messiah account that was just creepy as hell. And uh, this fake apology that was on this one, right? That was like, we're sorry for having been harmed and harassed by you, Allie. How bit mean of us. But anyway, the five hour one they're referring to, because of course there's a 23 part video series that I'm going through. Uh, what is Darvo? Uh, watching narcissist content. So hopefully people can spot narcissistic abuse no matter where it comes from right so i this was the seven days right it is she's right three hours it's eight hours uh luckily i had energy this day i started so i did this one live as i normally do um ali and then i went on and i'm watching me i'm watching me in the past i'm not doing this for three hours right but i didn't this isn't sunday marathon how did ali p start and continue a cult on tiktok and then I watched the first parts of the Mean Girls and I just continued watching, right? We're watching Kyle Cease and I'm commenting on Kyle Cease. This entire video, although it does say Ali P on it, uh, is not about Ali, but it is about recapping, right? And then because it wasn't about Ali until Caitlin herself, Caitlin McWilliams comes in and we're using her full name now because she's also come in with her full name and has no problem on, on both Facebook and YouTube. And uh, yeah, her full name's used and she has no problem with her little white cult follower using everyone's full name and harming autistic people and black women, especially that little white agent of white supremacy, right? I don't think she's a white supremacist. She's absolutely an agent of white supremacy because she keeps refusing to not be. She keeps refusing to sit with it and be better, do better for her, for her family, for the world, right? So anyway. Uh, so this is, that was the, that was, that was the live, right? Then, then I came on to do a one hour live. That was my plan in the beginning. You can even see it on here, right? Thank God I had the, I had the freaking. oh. Let's watch the very beginning, how I intro it. I had this video planned and then this person commented on my account. So uh, this just keeps happening. Perfect example at the perfect time. Uh, on my account, this person comments and says, AMW is psychotic, toxic human being, period, point blank. Again. So basically what we're starting this one with, right? Somebody taking Ali's word and an autistic creator coming to my videos and venting that to me, right? Not knowing, am I a scary person? Why are, why are you here doing that? But anyway, so what else was there, right? So so the whole point of this video was to showcase friendship, followers, and how Chris's relationship with Ali and Caitlin's relationship with Ali are different because Chris is an in-world friend that I had a back and forth with and it already covered. Uh, well, showcasing the back and forth that wasn't public and I didn't want to be public. I just wanted it to be on this live so it doesn't harm Chris and Ali's relationship. But instead of it being a one hour live where it's just sitting there, right? Ali goes live while I'm on this. While I'm doing this, Ali goes live. So in this five hours, uh, we'll see Ali go live. We're not going to watch it because I wouldn't be able to find the exact points. She kicks out, she promises to be a safe space, kicks somebody out for the most innocuous comments Pulls out a ukulele at the at the two hour mark on on the dot uh, to make fun of 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 Jane um, again. Then knows that I'm streaming. Then she actually does a pretty good job of not freaking out. But then I I feel the need to finish right, and then I felt the need to even finish even more and actually put in the first video that Krista was responding to, most of which. And then I think we watched Docs the podcast at the beginning, the the trailer, which showcases a bit of the timeline, right? So my eight hours is one, my choice. I only do what is mine to do. And it's me behind the scenes, right? That day, I cleaned my house. My house got cleaned. Uh, I can body double with myself, right? So anyway, that is one comment 
just the most recent one on the most recent video about me, right? She's gaining followers on YouTube. Ali claiming autism, using it as a weapon against actually autistic people, and then not standing up, right? Not being like, oh, that, yo, no, no, that's, I get it. That was me zooming in, right? That was an edit. No, of course she's creepy, very unwell. Ali's actually unwell. She's just good at faking to her audience and having them roped into her nervous system. She said it herself before I showed the part of my video and her video, right? Social media is not good for this woman. And she's just going to get right back to that physically intense state where she's having heart chest pains. Well, she had friends who cared about her, cared about her physical well-being more than her influencer well-being. All right, we're going to end this here and upload it.